Hey guys, Rymo Swag here, and today I'm going to be looking at the unseen side of speedrun.com and find the most obscure games that are on the site. There are tons of wacky and strange games that fail to grab the attention of runners everywhere. There are a select few games that dominate the speedrunning scene while the rest fade into obscurity. So I went to the least active section of speedrun.com and searched for the gems that were hidden from the world. So that's why today, I'm playing... Call me crazy, but I think that's an Among Us reference. Imposter Hide. This game is essentially a copy of Among Us except in first person. The game on speedrun.com has a few run submissions as of the making of this video. Now before I analyze the speedrun, I'm going to get the full experience of playing the game for the first time. This is strangely more ominous than I expected. I'm actually quite impressed with some of the details on some of these rooms. The entire map is a recreation of the Skeld from Among Us, and the creator certainly put effort into making the game visually appealing. And, uh, very sus. So it seems we need to complete the tasks given to us on the top left of the screen. Most tasks in this game are very similar to the tasks in Among Us, and for some reason there's dead bodies everywhere. But hey, if you can get past the dead bodies lying everywhere, this game is pretty cool. You can do tasks like fixing wires, Simon Says, and... Uh, that was probably just the reactor. It's uh, quite a huge machine, it can make a lots of wild, wacky noises. <laughs> So apparently you need to avoid this demonic imposter creature that moves throughout the ship. Thankfully, it's not too hard to outrun the imposter on the early levels. All you need to do is run into a different room and the imposter will eventually lose you. But of course, it's not that easy. In Among Us, the imposter has the ability to sabotage crucial devices on the ship such as O2, reactor, and lights. In Imposter Hide, the imposter can do just that and force you to quit whatever task you're doing so that you can fix the ship. Once you go around and complete all of the tasks listed in the top left chart, the level ends. The entire game is 25 levels total, with each level becoming slightly more difficult and the tasks being randomized each time. You can view the map by pressing E, and the location of your tasks will be highlighted by a yellow star on the map. By far the scariest part of the game is when the lights go out. And to think that Among Us was scary when the lights were off, imposter hide ensues constant paranoia crawling within your skin knowing that the imposter could be lurking at any corner, and one wrong move could end it all. Eh, you thought you could give me? You're gonna need to be faster than that- OH MY GOD THERE'S TWO! Okay, I just need to complete one task, I just gotta get there as fast as possible and everything will be fine. I mean, it's only my sanity that's going out the window right now, surely nothing bad could happen. Okay, I just have to quickly turn the O2 back on. It can't possibly be that bad. No, oh my god, go, 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 go! Well, we could do three minutes, we could- Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 we're almost here, we're almost here. One last task, one last task, come on, come on. Come on! Go faster! Go! 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 Woo! Almost lost my cool there. <laughs> Okay, I think that's as many levels as I want to do right now, but now it's time to learn the speed run. Let's analyze the world record for the first level. The world record is a 55 second time held by its counter. I haven't even gotten close to beating a level in under a minute, so how the heck did he do it? Well, looking at the map, you can see that all of counter's tasks were located on the right side of the ship. Every time you reload any given level, all the tasks are completely random. You know what that means, it's all dependent on RNG. Alright, quick rundown about RNG. RNG stands for Random Number Generator, essentially luck. All six tasks spawn in random places within the ship based on a random number generator. This in particular sucks, because now the only way to get anywhere close to the record is to get literal god RNG. Well. It can't take forever. I'm sure that you could get all of the tasks in the same general part of the ship, right? <laughs> 
there's more. In the ship, there are a total of four upload tasks, and of course, all of them are located on the right side of the ship. Even if all of the tasks are on the right side of the ship, you could get up to four upload tasks. Each upload costs nearly 10 seconds. On top of that, the clear asteroids tasks takes even longer than upload, and it's also on the right side of the ship. I knew there was a slim chance that I could still pull off an insane world record though. Technically, Counter's tasks were not perfect. He had two short tasks in O2, one in navigation, two in shields, and one in communication. If I could somehow get two tasks in O2, two in nav, and two in shields, I might be able to pull off an insane time. Now, it was time to grind. I spent the next day grinding the first level over and over again. 90% of my attempts would end as an immediate reset because the tasks were all over the place. Other attempts would die because I messed up a task because wires is hard. The runs that I did finish were nowhere near the world record. I kept getting all of the tasks in the same general location, but of course at least one of the tasks was upload data, which basically plummeted my chances of getting the world record to zero. Until finally, I had a really good shot. It wasn't the best task RNG, but it was the best that I had gotten out of the hundreds of attempts that I had already poured into the game. I ran down to navigation and completed wires, then I had a slow ship alignment, but a ship alignment nonetheless, then I turned on the power in shields. Now if my calculations were correct, the last three tasks were some of the shortest tasks in the entire game. All I had to do was arrive to all of them as quickly as possible, and I would finally have the world record in the first level of Imposter High. I hate this game. So not only are all of the tasks RNG, but it turns out that the imposter can spawn in random places on the map. Not only that, but the imposter can also hear you. So it doesn't matter if your tasks are perfect, it doesn't matter if you're fast, if the imposter is in your way, all of your hard work goes to waste. I mean, I'm sure that's the worst of it, right? I'm sure that the imposter couldn't be that much of an issue going forward, right? Alright, I have a plan. Now the level 1 world record may be out of my reach, but we haven't taken a look at the level 2 world record yet. This record is much longer than the level 1 record. All I would have to do is get decent tasks, and then I would be home free. I'm not letting this sussy game get the best of me. It's time to suss them out. Let's go world record, let's go beat it by a whopping 4 seconds. I may not have gotten perfect tasks and some sloppy wires, but I beat the world record. I never thought I would say this in my life, but I finally have a world record in an Among Us game. Thank you guys for watching, I'm trying to start a mini-series where I find random speedrun games on speedrun.com and try to run them, like this one. Uh, typically ones with little to no audience. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye